Bengals starting to find their identity. Mike Petralia outside Paycor Stadium. Here on Thursday, the Bengals were back in full pads, getting ready for the 5-3 and three Buffalo Bills Sunday night here at Paycor Stadium. Prime time, 8.20 p.m. Eastern time kickoff before a national NBC audience. Inside Paycor Stadium, it will be electric, just like it was back on January 2nd. Uh, in front of an ESPN national audience for Monday Night Football. Tyler Boyd here on Thursday calling that atmosphere as an electric an atmosphere as he has been a part of in terms of a home game here in Cincinnati since he has been in the National Football League. Of course, the Bengals went up 7-3, to three, and then DeMar Hamlin, the collapse occurred midway through the first quarter, of course, and everything changed. Certainly, it is good to see DeMar Hamlin back up and playing football and, most importantly, healthy. Uh, DeMar Hamlin back at Bill's practice, by the way, on Thursday, fully participating after missing on Wednesday with an illness. Also back, by the way, fully participating on Thursday, quarterback Josh Allen after missing on Wednesday as the Bills are trying to manage his right shoulder injury the best they can, but obviously expect Josh Allen to be the starting quarterback Sunday night against the Bengals. What about the Bengals injury report from Thursday? The most notable name returning to practice, Trey Hendrickson. He missed on Wednesday with that foot injury sustained out at Levi Stadium in the 31-17 win over the 49ers. While he was back on the practice field, limited, albeit, on uh, Thursday afternoon, but he was back on the practice field going through the reps, going through the full stretch and activities, also going through individual drills, going through the dummy drills uh, with coach, defensive line coach Marion Hobby. Everything looked good there. He looked very strong, very quick, very agile, typical Trey Hendrickson stuff. So that is a good sign. They're obviously Bengals trying to manage his situation, make sure he's a full go for Sunday night against Buffalo. Also being managed carefully is Orlando Brown Jr., the left tackle. He was limited again on Thursday in practice for the Bengals, but that should not be a big deal. The Bengals, again, making sure that he doesn't push the situation with the groin too hard in practice because, as we saw on Sunday, they need him at full strength. And Joe Mixon back fully participating here on Thursday after sustaining a chest injury, presumably, uh, during that win over the 49ers. But Joe Mixon, after being limited on Wednesday, back fully participating on Thursday. Well, two uh, receivers spoke in the locker room uh, here after practice on Thursday, Jamar Chase and Tyler Boyd. Tyler Boyd recalling the uh, comments of one Isaiah McKenzie. You remember him. He's the former Bills receiver who played in that divisional playoff game uh, and the game that, of course, the Bengals won 27-10 to 10 in the snow at uh, Highmark Stadium in Buffalo. And it was McKenzie who made reference to the snow, saying, had it not been snowing and the elements not been so brutally cold, maybe the Bills would have had a better chance of beating the Bengals. As a matter of fact, he said the Bills would have probably beaten the Bengals uh, on that afternoon. But Tyler Boyd, those kind of comments did not sit well with him. He remembered them, and he said, well, the Bills will have their chance here on uh, Sunday night against the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, obviously, with McKenzie back, and now not with the Buffalo Bills, but rather with the Indianapolis Colts, and he actually made those comments after signing with the Colts, uh, we should probably take that into some type of context and not hold it against the Bills too much because I don't think too many Bills would be making that excuse right now, getting ready to play the Cincinnati Bengals. Also, Tyler Boyd, uh, making reference to the identity that the Bengals have suddenly found over the last two wins, really tough wins over the Seattle Seahawks, holding on in the fourth quarter at home before the bye, and of course on Sunday, pulling away against a very good San Francisco team, ending that 11-game home winning streak for San Francisco on Sunday. Tyler Boyd saying, we're starting to find our identity, and we've got to keep it going uh, against another very good team in the Buffalo Bills this Sunday night. Jamar Chase also spoke, and he spoke at length about how much he is enjoying playing different positions uh, and how he has uh, kind of made that progress since first uh, really being moved around in the wide receiver 
pool of positions during that playoff game. He's enjoyed it this season. He said that a lot of receivers like to play other guys' positions, kind of get a feel for what their responsibilities are, makes the game a little more enjoyable. But he also made reference to two very good safeties that are not named DeMar Hamlin, and they are really the starters for the Buffalo Bills, really the uh, backbone of that defense and safeties, Jordan Poyer and Micah Hyde. The Bengals have to know where they are at all times. Joe Burrow and his group of wide receivers really need to know where they are at all times. And uh, Jamar Chase also kind of chimed in on Isaiah McKenzie's comments, calling him crazy talk. But again, McKenzie no longer with the Buffalo Bills. So take that with a grain of salt. The Bengals will be back at it here on Friday, putting in their final red zone uh, installs for the game on Sunday night. Bengals trying to win their fourth consecutive game and move to five and three on the season and really, uh, most importantly, get a win in the AFC column. They are 4-0 and against the a uh, NFC West and they have yet to record a win in three tries against AFC competition. Have you covered on Twitter as always at TRAGS, T-R-A-G-S, online, CLNS, Cincy, Dot com and check out my YouTube page, youtube.com slash at Jungle Roar Pod. Outside Paycor Stadium, Mike Petralia, CLNS Media.